Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm a maker. I'm a cosplayer, lapper, crafter and I love to repair stuff. For my newest project, I craft the statues Staria and Austria from the Graz Stadtpark together with my friend Nina. It's a project out of curiosity how to work with different materials and it needs a lot of imagination. I hope you enjoy the crafting videos and have fun watching. Welcome to part 2, the making of Styria and Austria with Corsage and the belt. So Hans Brandstetter made the statues in 1891, so I needed to find out which materials I shall use. I decided to go for a green leather, because I had in mind that I might still have some leather left from a different project. I still had pieces from an old green leather jacket that I used to wear a lot, and I also wore it on the internet before. Check it out! I used pieces of the jacket before to make a quiver for a friend of mine. I'm on the middle in the picture. So it's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. Let's do some crafting. So here the corsage is uh, almost finished. I stitched together really small pieces because I think it was uh, one arm of the jacket and one and the back side that I used for this. I really used very small scraps to get it finished. Um, I had some parts that were like standing up a bit and so I needed to flatten them down. As well, the corsage was way too big, so I made it smaller and smaller. Try I tried it on and then made it smaller again and again. Please excuse the white hair on my pullover. I was a very cute cat at work at that day. Here you can see the back of the jacket where there used to be some uh, elastic band inside which I took out. I needed to cut off all the little seams and the threads that were standing up. As you can see there was the, the light green was outside before but I wanted to have, to have the suet side on the outside for this project. Here I made it smaller, as you can see this is how it works when I put it on. As you can see, my little model is from, made of plastic and does not fit. But it does fit me, I promise. So yeah, this is Austria, beautiful in the evening. And she's wearing a corsage made out of scales. Let's see how I went into this. So I designed it as a corsage underbust consists of a lot of scales and it goes down to the hips and on the top there is a lion head. I used an old corsage of mine that I basically never wore. I got it for a LA project, never wore it. And now I uh, sewed on some more fabric to make it longer because I thought it was not long enough. And the scales are made out of white leather trousers. I had it because my favorite singer, this is uh, PJ Olsen, who sings in the Alan Parsons Project, wore white leather pants. And I found it so cool and I wanted to have some myself, so I went to a secondhand shop and bought them. But the zipper was broken, so I had it in my closet for like 10 years, never wore it. And now I thought, this is the right moment to give it a new life. So yeah, Nina and I cut out hundreds of little circles out of both uh, legs of these trousers. This is me sitting in the train, because one of my jobs is to count people on trains and sometimes between the stops there is a lot of time. So I'm sitting there for hours and days and at this time I was sewing on the scales to the corsage. I could have done it by machine, but this was a task that I could do in the train, and so I chose to do it like this.
So this is how it looks right now, almost finished. Suit on all the scales, put some uh, leather parts at the sides, which will be in the back and they will be never be seen. So I thought, okay, let's be lazy and just do this additionally. There's some scales left that I will sew on. And then on top is the lion. <laughs> that lion. Oh no, it looks so ugly. It should look like this, but I was not able to do it. So it will be 3D printed, everything will be all right. <laughs> And this is a solution for the future. So I took some sticky... So I took some velcro fastener, which will hold the pieces together in the back. Because th it's elastic, so I cannot sew the leather onto the corsage, because the corsage itself is from made from elastic material. So after I close the corsage, there will be a uh, this velcro which holds together the leather parts on top of it. I found out I did not have enough scales, so I made some more. It will not be the last time that I make some more. This time I made them slightly bigger, so it will be faster. At this point I was at home, so I could sew it on with the machine. And I also decided to go over the first three rows to make it more stable, that they will hold whatever comes, whatever fight will come. I did not have enough white thread, so I took one, an old one that I had made out of cotton. It's a really bad idea, don't do that. Always use polyester because cotton, it, it ripped off so often it was very annoying, so always use polyester thread, please. And some more scales because, yeah, they weren't enough, again. Cutting off all the threads. very good feeling when everything's very smooth in the end. Now it's time for glue. Because I wasn't satisfied with the result when I wear it, the scales go up and further and everywhere. So I decided that I will sh uh, glue on some of them. It's a typical crafting glue, multi-purpose. You can get it in any crafting shop. New day, new fun, more glue. And some color because uh, yeah, there were some spots where there were not scales where the black corsage was looking through so I decided just to color it white might help Fun fact, the corsage weights 1.5 kilograms because of all the leather. Yeah, so this is how the corsage looks on the model. It has exactly my size, so it will look kind of like this in the end. So as you can see, I close the corsage underneath and then on top will be the velcro which holds it together once I closed it. So I put on with a pencil where it will be in the end. 
And I really like that it's in the in the back. It's this asymmetrical piece that looks very modern and in a contrast to the very romantic, antique, Greek, old-fashioned outfit. And some more white color. For the belt, for Styria, I decided to change a little bit compared to the model because the model has a slightly different belt buckle and I will go for a belt that I still have and I got it from my grandma and I never wore it in the last, I don't know, five years. I used to wear it in school but now, now it's not my style anymore so I thought, okay, again, perfect situation to use it now. But it was too small, so I cut it apart. It takes a lot of courage to do stuff like that. Then I sewed on a piece in the middle, which will be in the back, so you will not see it. And I sewed the pieces back together, so the belt is bigger. So this is the finished belt. As you can see from the front, you cannot see any changes. These are the rivets that go on top and I will change it slightly compared to the model but you will see later. So they need a little bit of primer because they are in fact an old yoga mat from my mom. I made a lot of swords and daggers out of it already and I have some pieces left over so I put primer on those to get them colored with acrylic paint more easily. I painted them with some gold acrylic paint and I take some super glue to glue them onto the belt, which I thought was the easiest way to do. This is the finished belt. If you cannot see it properly, it is made out of a black suet leather. This is how it looked on the model and this is how it looked in my version. I started Austria spelt with a mold. I made it out of Eva Plast and it made the spike for the rivet for the belt pieces. I heated up some warbler, pressed it in and when it was cold I took it out and it became this shape. It will be also kind of like a, a rivet. I cut it with scissors so it gets the right shape and then it will go on top of some foam piece. The under pieces for the belt are made out of white crafting foam from Dine Lab Shop and I made 18 of those for the belt. And time for primer again. This is the finished belt after painting and I put some office tags on the, on the corners so it looks more metal. I really liked it. The other belt that Austria is wearing is just a simple brown belt that I got in a second hand shop and it fit perfectly. Here comes the second belt with the golden rivets. This is how it will look in the end. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 3 where I will talk about the crowns and the making of the swords. <laughs>